Hello, this is Jeremy Burke, Business Development Manager for Intuit Canada, taking care of the awesome territory of Edmonton. I am uh, today interested in showing you an easy and quick way to earn new clients. So let's begin. First of all, before we get into the how, we're going to talk about the opportunity. So I just want to share some of you some information that I've up over the seven years that I've been working here into it. Now, things that I know. There are approximately 250,000 QuickBooks desktop users in Canada. Uh, that is quite a large number of users, and that has been built up over the last 20 years. And what happens is some businesses come, some businesses go, but we're generally fluctuating about 250,000 small business users. Now, one point that I want to point out, though, is out of those 250,000 desktop users, approximately 20% of them have a QuickBooks payroll subscription. The reason why I bring that up is uh, we're going to talk today about single user desktops uh, or multi-user desktops but outright purchases of our desktop program which requires a um, upgrade every so often so the people that are using payroll right now for Intuit um, they're getting a new version of QuickBooks desktop and uh, so this program I'm going to take them out of the equation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say we have about 200,000 QuickBooks desktop users that have outright purchased QuickBooks of desktop. Why that's important is that I noticed uh, from working on the outbound sales team for about three years with Intuit is that every three to five years, a person is looking to upgrade their version of QuickBooks. Uh, the majority of the reasons were they were purchasing a new computer and it had a new version of Windows on it that their older version didn't work with. Um, another more common thing that's happening more and more often is people are switching from PCs to Macs and let's face it, QuickBooks desktop doesn't work with Macs well in Canada unless you have a Windows emulator. Uh, but anyways, it's driving people to call into uh, into it to purchase new versions of QuickBooks. So why does this matter? I want to sidestep for a second there and just talk about small businesses. So first of all, um, this I got these statistics from Stats Canada. And basically what I'm going to show you is that on average in Canada, there's usually about 90 to 115,000 new businesses built uh, uh, every year. And then that there is also about 100,000 small businesses that go out of business as well too. Leaving a net sum of about 15,000 new businesses per year. Now, why is that important? Well, I'm talking to you guys about what our current uh, desktop base is, and I want to talk to you about the future. So if you're pessimistic there, first of all, that information says that a lot of businesses go out of business and fail. Generally, the most reason uh, businesses fail is they generally don't uh, acquire the services of an accountant and bookkeeper, and they're more likely to go out of business in a short period of time. Um, statistics range anywhere from 80 to 85% within a two-year period of first starting your business. Now, so if we took the 200,000 desktop users and said, hey, you know what, 85% of those people are basically destined to fail uh, because they don't have an accountant or bookkeeper, or whatever the reason is, uh, that's going to leave about 30,000 small businesses using desktop that would be in a position to upgrade the next three to five years, which is still a decent amount of uh, people. Now, the optimistic news about the 15,000 new businesses per year is we can sit there and also say, hey, you know what? 15,000 businesses times five years, that's going to be about 75,000 new businesses that are going to start up in the next uh, five years at Intuit and offer in our products and services to them to help them with their financial management. Now, the cool thing about Intuit is in North America, we currently enjoy an 80% market share and we continue to grow. I know when I first started at Intuit back in... Uh, 2010, I think we were somewhere around 54% market share, and Sage pretty much had the rest. Um, over the last few years, there we've really made some good key decisions there to help us grow to that around that 78, 80% mark here in Canada. So I'm going to take that information and say, okay, well, if we have 30,000 small businesses using QuickBooks and Desktop that are going to be in a position to upgrade in the next three to five years, so that's what we currently have. Take away payroll take away people that are going to fail there's going to be that number of people that are going to be in a position to upgrade and we also take 75,000 new businesses and multiply that by our market share of 80 percent we're going to assume that 60,000 60, new QuickBooks users so you're going to come in, they're no into it, they're probably going to buy the Intuit QuickBooks brand as a product. Now, what's really cool is uh, that gives us an opportunity of 90,000 small businesses to purchase QuickBooks in the next five years. Okay, so I hope you guys are following along on this. Now, here's the inside scoop, but you might not know. 
currently right now 75% of all the small businesses that are calling into it to upgrade, you know, in that three to five year period. So people that bought three to five years ago are upgrading, are buying QuickBooks online right now. That is a staggering number, and Intuit has done an excellent job. I know when I first started this job uh, four years ago, working with accountants and bookkeepers like yourself, uh, there was 500 QuickBooks Online subscribers in Canada when I got started. Now we're somewhere around 120,000 users, uh, paid subscribed users in Canada, and we were about half a million worldwide, and we're about one and a half million worldwide right now, and it doesn't look like it's slowing anytime soon. Now, here's a stat that you might not be aware of, and uh, you also could be quite shocking, is actually, out of all the people that use QuickBooks, only 23% of them actually use an account or a bookkeeper, which is probably why the statistics are so large on the fact that the people are going out of business because they make poor business decisions or don't manage their um, books properly there. But I just wanted to point that out. So what does that mean? Well, we got 90,000 small businesses that are going to buy QuickBooks in the next five years. So we already have 30,000 people that have bought it and we'll buy it again. And we'll have another 60,000 people that could have eventually bought it in the past there, but are most likely going to buy from Intuit before any other program, before they decide on any other program. So that means there's going to be 67,000 new users based on that 75% rule of people buying QuickBooks or buying QuickBooks online. Now, you are currently managing across the board as a pro advisor uh, about 15.5 thousand uh, clients of QuickBooks. So there will be 15,000 new clients across Canada that are going to go into QuickBooks online that are going to be a matter of your client. It doesn't matter if you recommend it or not. They're just going to basically go on QuickBooks online. Now, the cool part, though, is 52,000 of these people that do not have an account or a bookkeeper are going to be told by our inbound and outbound sales teams that they should highly uh, consider working with an account or a bookkeeper because it is, they were more likely to be successful in keeping business. So Intuit is working really hard, each and every client that we acquire, to tell them about the benefits of working with an account or bookkeeper. So what does this mean? Well. You need to get in front of these people. And what is the way that you're going to get in front of it? Well, the best way to get in front of it, uh, in front of them, is through our Pro Advisor website. So we have completely revamped and updated our Pro Advisor site, and it can be found at proadvisor.intuit.com. And if I was to go to the city I live in here, Edmonton, Alberta, you'll quickly see that there's 151 accountants and bookkeepers listed in Edmonton, Alberta on this new website. Now, I know personally uh, that there is a minimum of 456 desktop pro advisors in Edmonton, so I still got my work cut out to help people get out on to this website, and I currently manage about 170 accountants and bookkeeping firms here in Edmonton. So I pretty much got every one of my clients on here, but I want to make sure that my clients also uh, benefit and have an outstanding profile. So some a couple of people that I want to highlight on this site that have uh, taken uh, my advice and benefited greatly, first of all, is Jeff Schwan. So Jeff Schwan, I met probably about three months ago at a training session and as of about a month ago I told them about this new find a local accountant site and uh, how to set himself up on it as I'm telling you through this video and he's taken full advantage of it and because he has three reviews and he has his profile all filled out and he has a certification training sessions uh, taken care of, he is actually number one on this list. And now talking to Jeff yesterday, he's told me that in the last week, he's had three phone calls from new potential clients contacting him from the site. Another individual I'd like to highlight is this individual. His name is Luke Collins. I met him back in October at, I believe, our basic certification training session. He was sitting beside me in the room at that day, and I told him in the room about this Pro Advisor website. Now, what I like about his uh, story is, is that he actually filled out this profile back then. He got his basic certification, his advanced certification, and he was already desktop certified since then. He has no reviews. However, he told me last week that he has 10 new clients from this pro advisor uh, portal in the last few months now the cool thing is is if you look at his profile he is actually way 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 down at the bottom um, and not even the top row there so what's the differentiating factor is basically is this review part 
and your designation. So the more reviews you have, the higher you're going to be listed, the more likely that those individuals that are going from desktop to online, being told to talk to uh, an account or bookkeeper are going to see your profile first. They're going to click on it, go inside it, and basically they're going to call you up. So the new profile is nice and neat. Now some key factors that you want to make sure of that I recommend is A, uh, display a picture of yourself in there, not a logo or any poorly put pictures. You know, invest some time to find yourself a good picture. Uh, make sure that you have all your certification statuses listed. If you're not certified in QuickBooks Online at all, I'd recommend taking advantage of the certification training. And you can do that by going into your QBOA account, clicking on the Pro Advisor tab and then click it on the certification tab and there's flexible ways to get certification so you can go and attend a live class in your area if there's one available um, a regular webinar or do a self a self study module or you also have in, then after you've completed your basic certification as you can see I have done here then you can go to an advanced certification and go through there and then take the exam become advanced certified back to the profile make sure you fill out the services the amount of time you've been working connect your social sites so if you can connect your LinkedIn Facebook sites as well and then any blogs that you happen to have and this is probably the key part right here is write a review so you can click on there or somebody can click on and write a review about yourself now my recommendation is this if you have received any reviews from clients in the past what I would recommend is contact those individuals and say hey do you mind if I copy and paste that review into this website and uh, what you just need to do is provide the services that you provided to them there the review that you got from your customer and type in their email and hit submit now if you don't have any reviews, you might want to send an email out to your clients asking them to write a review and then just include the link here with your name in it and say, hey, do you mind writing a review and submitting it here and hit and submit. Now, that there is a kind of hit or miss there. When you ask people for reviews, you might get one out of 10 people to do that. And reviews really drive the site. So what I'd recommend doing is actually taking a few of your clients, maybe pick five to 10 of them. Think about an experience you had with them that was unique and would show um, insight into how good your services are. Write that out in an email and send it to say, hey, do you mind? I wrote this review about myself and your engagement as business in business. If you agree with this, do you mind taking and copy and paste this and submit it to this website? Or edit it if you feel as necessary. You'll find about 8 out of 10 people will actually take the time to take that and copy and paste it. Now, you can see here in Edmonton, the person that is winning the game is Jeff Schwan. He has three reviews, uh, and I know he's added more. Uh, the number one person in Canada, I think, is around 22 reviews, and in Toronto... Care some the number one person sitting around 18 there, so that is going to get you to the top of uh, top of the page. It's going to get you the most phone calls and generally the most opportunities to get new customers. So I highly recommend uh, going in here. Now the question is, is you're going to ask me is how do I actually fill that out? Well, all you need to do is go into your QuickBooks Online accounts and click this little face icon over here, the Pro Advisor portal uh, for setting up your um, set up your profile used to be in here now it's over here in this little button you just got to click it click first on here to make sure that you're turned on and this will basically link it to the website to display your information fill out everything is required just click on the pencils fill out the categories and then hit save and the certifications you just need the checkbox hit save and there you go and fill out some information of interest to you, their expertise. Connect your social sites. Uh, this is important. So you can see your LinkedIn, Twitter account, Facebook, YouTube channel, blog. Hit save. And uh, another cool little feature and functionality about the program is it actually tells you now how many people have clicked on your profile in the last 30 days, how many people have actually inquired about your business. Um, so I've actually had two inquiries and I don't do bookkeeping and accounting. And uh, how many people have actually clicked on your social links and went from this site to your social sites there as well too. So it's a great little thing. Um, it will definitely drive probably about one to three new clients on average per person. Specifically, that it'll drive even more for the people at the top of the list. 
you just need to take some time, 10 to 15 minutes to fill out that information and regularly update it with more reviews and keep yourself at the top and you should be enjoying those new clients. Uh, thank you for taking the time to listen. I hope to see you on the profile and I look forward to talking to you soon. Goodbye.